Um, there aren't that many salons in America, but um, there should be. There should be. I mean, the closest we get are coffee shops and certain... Maybe in Brooklyn they're doing that sort of thing right now a little bit. That's, you have to have a special environment for it, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what, did, what did you think of the concept? How did you experience it? I love the idea of a salon. I love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's nice. A lot of different people with very different um, also backgrounds who wouldn't necessarily belong in the same room and they have to talk about the same thing. Yeah. It's nice. I think what I liked most is that it began very technical, right? Uh, but at the end, what's really important for me is that I, to understand music, uh, you don't need to have studied music. And I like that a lot. Huh? And that's but then it also expanded into more general ideas about life, physics, the universe, and also music. So it really expanded from the original idea. So it was very nice because then everybody had really the opportunity to join in the conversation. I think the most interesting idea was this, what one, uh, one speaker pointed out, the difference between music and science. How everybody always loves to say, oh, there's mathematics in music and there's science in music, but then actually they're just as different as they are similar. One or another. I'm not a specialist in music, I'm not a specialist in Bach and not in mathematics. So uh, what, what comes out, what speaks out to me most is the conventional, uh, how do you say, uh, oppositions between the fields and you feel them between the speakers and that's something. Well, it, it, it reminds me a little bit of the, homo, the idea of the Homo Universalis, so to put a lot of diff disciplines together and if you reflect on it in, in uh, history, what happened in dividing everything in uh, different disciplines where you got a lot of people knowing a lot of things about one thing and maybe it would be more fruitful to interact with each other to see are the same patterns, same ideas. Uh, I, I believe it, it would be more fruitful to, to do it like that. Uh, I, I, I really enjoyed the way he enjoys talking about music. Uh, for me this evening would have been already perfect just having him talk more, even more maybe about what it is that he uh, sees because that's what was happening when I was listening to him I, I could almost see what he sees or something. I, he really explained very well what structures um, he notices. I, I really I, I'm, I'm a big fan of what he does. Yes. You talk also, his, outside also his personality is very uh, open, very friendly uh, it's like the kind of person that you would like to have uh, when you're five years old as a music teacher. But uh, there, that spark, that happens, and you don't get to hate <laughs> playing music because of your music teacher. So, yeah. uh, I need always to meditate a little on that, but it was quite exciting. Also what I spoke about with some individual uh, people. Mm -hmm. Just now with a woman who plays the flute, she said, yeah, music is not just entertainment, but there's some existential thing that you get passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I feel that also when I do mathematics, yeah. and I'm happy that um, artists feel that also.